Easy, bud, easy. Jack, please, well, don't fight with your brother over me. Thank you. You know, I, I don't know why this always happens. It's, it's something about me that makes man turn into animal. Yeah, yeah this, this isn't about you. Are you sure about if that? If good old Jack says so, then it must uh, be true. Stop that. I swore to myself never to get in between two brothers again. That one time in Shanghai, that was enough. I don't think you have to worry about history repeating itself. He's right, Vienna. It's got nothing to do with you. We we're just talking about our cousin Luke, and it seems he's turned. Okay, out yeah, would you please just knock it off? You know, will you lighten up? I wasn't going to say anything inappropriate. There's only one thing that could make you this angry. It's Carly, isn't it? No, Vienna. It's not. It's, it's not. I, I don't want to get into that with you, Mama, please. You, you know what? There must be something I can do to get your mind off your ex-wife, huh? Nice, Jack. Glad you're having a good time. No. Ah, oh, damn it, Parker! Parker! Why, why, why did you take off like that? What do you care? You were obviously busy. I'm never too busy for you, Parker. I don't see why I have to be here if JJ and Sage don't. Well, that's because Lily invited you, and JJ and Sage have plans they can't get out of. Hey, come on, what's the matter, Parker? Man, don't you want to welcome your uncle Brad home? I see you every day at the farm. True, but a good Snyder never turns down a party. Not a Snyder. You are, but All right, Brad, I, I think it's best if you and your date didn't stick around. This is my dinner. I mean, wait, you're seriously telling me to take a walk because some stupid crack that I made that wasn't even about let, 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 Let's make this clear, okay? L Lily asked you to leave. I'm just making sure you follow through. Jack, I'm sorry if my being here has made things more difficult for no, you. Vienna, I, I just don't want anything to ruin Lily's dinner. Like, like, uh, show on the guests of honor the door before you said a bite the something like that? There's a drive through a couple miles down the road. Next time, maybe the guest of honor will think twice before spouting his mouth off. Got it. I have to apologize. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You know, I... My homecoming shindig was such a bust. Oh, I'm sure it was very nice. It's just too bad your family didn't want you there for it. Well, you know, I'm kind of used to that. I'm, I'm sort of the anti-Jack around here. The what? I, I don't know the meaning of that. I'll break it down for you. Jack is the saint, and I'm the sinner. Uh huh. Exactly how naughty have you been, Brad Snyder? Well, that's tough to tell. You know, because the night is still young. I just realized something tonight. Really? What's that? This might come as a surprise to you, Brad, but uh, I have feelings for you. Really? You do now? Um, would you care to share them? I think you are a very handsome man. Strong, funny, and wild, and you're also very sweet to me. You make it easy. Well, I couldn't let you fall in love with me when my heart is with another man. Are you curious of who it is? Let me take a guess. My brother Jack, maybe? If you know, why do you try to start something between us? Vienna, I know my brother. He is hung up on Carly. Always will be. Oh, well, I can be patient for love. See, there's patience, and then there's just wasting time. What, are you saying that Jack is a waste of time? Have you ever heard that old saying... If you can't be with the one you love? No. What happens if you can't be with the one you love? Darling, you gotta love the one you're with. Well, you know, if I do that, I would only do that to make Jack jealous. And I would never use you that way. Okay, what if I told you that I'm okay with that? What if I said, use me? I'm a big boy. You are not gonna hurt my feelings. Wow. Well. I might prove you very, very wrong. See, there's another thing you need to know about my brother. Cozying up to me may be just a thing to get Jack to notice you. Because he's a very jealous guy. <sighs> and you wouldn't be jealous when you lose me to him? No. No, I, I love to see a beautiful woman get exactly what she wants. Well, I want Jack. I want you to have him. How bad? How bad. Oh, Jack! I'm 
sorry you had to walk in on this. This family? So she get used to it. What's going on here, people? I got three kids living in this house. And you guys are carrying on like a couple of teenagers in the back seat. What's so funny, Brad? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, you're right. Showing affection in front of children, that's a bad, bad thing. Put your shirt on, Roman. No, Brad, your brother's right. We should never have gotten carried away like this. Not, not here. Jack, please, please forgive me. Uh, I'm not the one you should be apologizing to, Vienna. Yeah, I know. I should be apologizing to Lil Parker. Maybe I can tuck him in later tonight, you know, since Carly's not here. No, no. You go upstairs. It's for one reason. It's to pack your stuff and get out. Wait a minute, bud. Jack. Emma invited her to stay here. You can't just kick her out. The hell I can't. My kids are confused enough as it is, Brad. And how is it helping them by you turning this into some kind of frat house? I'm sure Emma would completely understand that. I, I would never do anything. Not intentionally, I'm sure, but I can't take that risk. You don't have to leave. You know what? No. If Jack wants me to go, I'll go. I'll get the suite at Lakeview. 